name is Devi, and I'm going to be attempting to help anyone out there struggling draw a better character reference. Also, this is unscripted, so if it sounds weird, that's why. Um, <laughs> okay. The first thing I thought could help people is have the whole character on the reference. Now, this just means, like... If someone is drawing your full character, and it, you provide them with a reference that's shoulders up, or just the head, they're not going to know how. This could have people drawing your character wrong, or not how you imagined it. Now, this one's easier to fix. You can just draw the full character. If there's something about the character that you can't draw, like... If you don't know how you would draw the paws or talons on them, or you wouldn't know how to do the tail, you can always ask others out there for help or tips. Then you could have a full reference of your character that could help other people draw your character more how you imagined it. And the next thing that I thought could really help is Include everything needed on the reference. This just means, like, if the character is in the reference and they have their mouth closed, but if someone is going to draw them with their tongue out or smiling with an open mouth, what color are their teeth? Is their tongue forked or not? Just have everything needed on the reference. If your character has paw pads, what color? Stuff like that. That could help anyone who has, or was going to draw your character in ways that you don't have on the reference. Again, this could have a lot of people drawing your character not how you imagined it, or even wrong. Now, this one, just like the last, you can just fix by adding it on, or if you don't know how, asking others for help. And the last thing I could say is make your reference easy to read or understand. If your character is neon purple and you have a neon purple background, it's going to be harder to see your character. You can just have a background that is either good with the character, but still so that your character stands out or have a background that's slightly similar, or just gray, black, or white. If your character is teal, having a bright green background might not be the best. Or if your character is dark gray, maybe having a light pink background could be nice. Just something to keep it standing out so it's easier to read and understand. Those are all three things I have to say for character references, and sorry I haven't uploaded this much this week, just a lot's been happening and I haven't really been able to find the time or motivation. Now I could have just drawn an easier character than this, but I was determined to finish this reference, so I did after a lot of pain and suffering, but here it is. <laughs> Alright, that's all I have, so thank you so much for watching, can't thank you enough, and hope you have a great rest of your day, night, uh, wherever you may be in the world.